Putin is eager to clarify the recent hubbub around Moldova and Transnistria, which has a long relationship with Russia and has drawn a lot of attention. Please continue to watch. Together, let's investigate this. Here are four essential facts about Moldova and Transnistria to get you started, along with an explanation of why Russia's war may eventually reach these countries sooner rather than later. As we previously reported, pro-Russian separatists in Transnistria, the breakaway area of Moldova, made a plea to Russia on Wednesday for protection, because of concerns that the region will become a new front in Moscow's conflict with neighbouring Ukraine. Despite being officially recognised as part of Moldova, the narrow strip of land has been de facto controlled by pro-Russian forces since the fall of the Soviet Union. Only the sixth special congress in the region's history saw MPs approve a motion requesting that Russia's parliament protect Transnistria from rising pressure from Moldova. They assert that Transnistria was the target of an economic war launched by the Chisinau Moldovan administration, which prevented essential imports in an effort to turn the region into a ghetto. The head of foreign policy for the breakaway republic, Vitaly Ignatiev, stated at the conference that the decisions of the current Congress cannot be ignored by the international community. The resolution on Transnistria was passed just one day before President Vladimir Putin was scheduled to address the Russian parliament annually. Similarly, the appeal for assistance from Moscow has sparked parallels with the February 2022 call for protection made by insurgents backed by Russia and eastern Ukraine against what they claimed were constant bombardment and shelling by Ukrainian forces. Accounts of the event in state-run media indicate that delegates of the conference on Wednesday expressed their anger towards Moldova rather than mentioning much about Ukraine. Prior to the unusual meeting, a spokesman for the Moldovan administration brushed off worries. From Chisinau, things look calm. There is no danger of escalation and destabilization of the situation in the Transnistrian region. This is another campaign to create hysteria, the spokesperson wrote on Telegram. Moldova has been concerned that the Kremlin may use Transnistria to develop a new front in the southwest, close to the southern Ukrainian region of Odessa, ever since Moscow began its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. When mysterious explosions rocked Transnistria in 2022, military analysts speculated that the territory might have been drawn into the battle by pro-Russian factions. The pro-Russian leadership of Transnistria charged Kyiv with trying to kill their leader in March. Ukraine denied the accusations. Additionally, without supplying any proof, the Russian Defense Ministry asserted last week that Ukraine was preparing an armed incursion into the separatist state. In the separatist territory, the Kremlin maintains a permanent military presence of some 1,500 soldiers, which it refers to as a peacekeeping mission. After the Soviet Union fell apart, the largely Russian-speaking region, which is situated between the Dniester River and the Ukrainian border, independently broke away from Moldova. The pro-Western government of Moldova was engaged in a battle with separatists in 1992 that claimed hundreds of lives and saw the Russian army intervene on behalf of the rebels. Transnistria's economy is still supported by free gas supplies from Russia, but since the crisis in Ukraine, the area has become more and more cut off from Moscow. However, before we go any further, if you find value in this information, to consider supporting this channel by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. This will help YouTube understand your preferences and allow you to be notified whenever a new video is posted on this channel. I'm grateful. Now, let's move forward. Amidst rumours that Transnistria may be absorbed into Russia, the situation there is getting worse. Learn more about how the Ukrainian military is responding to this and if it is prepared to neutralise the Russian military group in the Transnistrian region. Since Russian soldiers established the self-proclaimed Transnistria during the fall of the Soviet Union, it has long been a source of contention for Europeans as well as the Moldovan region. Furthermore, Russian forces and bases remain under Russian control within the borders of this pseudo-state. The Transnistrian Moldovan Republic, TMR, may request to join Russia in the next few days, and the Russian tyrant is prepared to accept it, according to local officials which is why the situation has now started to worsen. 
Here is what Ukrainian intelligence is saying about this and how Moldova is responding to it. On the Dlista River's eastern banks sits the unrecognized state of Transnistria. Although Transnistria proclaimed its independence following the fall of the Soviet Union in the early 1990s, it is officially a region of Moldova. Although there was a brief armed conflict in 1992 that ended in a ceasefire, Transnistria's status has not been settled internationally. Despite having its own government, parliament, currency and armed forces, Transnistria is not recognized by the majority of nations, including Ukraine. It's interesting to note that although Russia does not recognize Transnistria, it does offer it military, diplomatic and economic support. More recently, information has surfaced on the internet stating that Vladimir Krasnoselsky, the leader of the separatists in the Transnistria region of Moldova, will call a Congress of Deputies of all levels on February 28. At this meeting, they intend to adopt a resolution requesting admission into Russia and submit it to Russian dictator Vladimir Putin. Gennady Chorba, a Transnistrian oppositionist, reported this information. Chorba claims that on February 29, Putin would declare that residents of the left bank of the Dniester have appealed to the Federal Assembly, which will choose whether or not to grant the request. Moldova has already answered. According to a statement from the Moldovan government's reintegration office, the OSCE mission and other foreign partners are regularly contacted by the reintegration policy office, which is also responsible for keeping a careful eye on the situation. According to the information we have, there is no reason to believe that the situation in the region may deteriorate. We are convinced that Tiraspol is aware of the consequences it will face if it takes unthinkable steps, stated the statement. Meanwhile, the government of the nation has not yet responded to rumors regarding the separatists' plans. Due to the limited number of troops stationed there and the near impossibility of sending more Russian groups to Transnistria at this time, there is very little chance that the territory will become involved in a conflict with Ukraine. There were 1,300 Russian troops in Transnistria as of 2022, according to Ukrainian defense intelligence. Russian forces are mostly stationed in Tiraspol and defend radio centers in the town of Mayak, as well as warehouses in the village of Kovlzen. In a comments to TSN, Oleksandr Kovalenko, a military and political observer of the Information Resistance Group, stated that it would be suicidal for the PNR to decide to open a second front. However, other observers argue that a worsening of the situation in Transnistria would be advantageous for both Moldova and Ukraine. In an opinion piece for Channel 5, Mykola Butchin, a political science and international relations professor at Lviv Polytechnic National University, stated that if such a development takes place close to Europe's borders, it will serve as a warning to the continent about how Ukraine's loss can come to an end. In this instance, he also thinks that Ukraine's defense capabilities will benefit. The analyst is most likely making a suggestion that the Ukrainian army will begin to get enough support. According to the Ukrainian military, Transnistria will be cleared by them if needed. The 3rd Assault Brigade's deputy commander, Maxim Zorin, stated that Moldova might turn to Ukraine for assistance. It is noteworthy that Ukrainian Chief Intelligence Officer Kyrylo Budanov made a similar claim in the summer of 2022, stating that Ukraine will assist Moldova in removing the occupants. The Transnistrian Moldovan Republic TNR, region will not become a part of the Russian Federation, according to Ukraine's defense intelligence. Following several remarks from scholars and policymakers, the Ukrainian intelligence agency released a statement regarding the situation in the Moldovan region. They mentioned that, according on what they know, the representatives of the Transnistrian Moldovan Republic, TMR, which is not recognized, do not intend to invite dictator Putin to attend their convention. Furthermore, they clarify that the information being spread has all the characteristics of a planned disinformation operation meant to undermine the stability of the situation in the area. Remind yourself, please, it was precisely two years ago on February 24 that the Russian army invaded Ukraine. The Ukrainian people have undoubtedly gone through one of the most trying times in their history at this time. Take a look at the experiences of the past two years on the front lines and the implications for Ukraine. While Moldova, 
which borders Ukraine, is putting in a bid to join the European Union. Transnistria, which broke away unlawfully from Moldova during the collapse of the Soviet Union, has stayed firmly within the orbit of the Kremlin. Politicians in Transnistria requested Moscow to protect them from increasing pressure from Moldova during a special congress on Wednesday. The Kremlin later stated that safeguarding its compatriots was a top concern. According to Russian state media, I, a Novosti, slowly and seldom for weeks. As a way to encourage the creation of additional content similar to this, kindly subscribe to this channel. And with that, we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.